fair now since we say java is a language which is compiled once run anywhere so companies that do java development people who write java based softwares or when we are doing some software development for a client the client needs to run the code that we have written and compiled so typically when software is distributed we get just installers that we install on our machine and start using it so that means what we get is a compiled code if we want to run a compiled code which is called byte code on our machine then just now i discussed what should we have on our machine what is the piece which converts byte code to machine code anyone jvm 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 which is java virtual machine right that means java virtual machine should be installed on my machine but if we go to sun microsystems or oracle's website then we see jvm is not available as an installer as an installer only two things are available and those two things are either jdk or jre now let's go into the details of what is jdk and what is jre now jdk is called as java development kit and jre is called java runtime environment so jre is java runtime environment this is the one which is required if we want to run java code on our machine simple execution so we can say jvm is contained in jre so if we want to run a compiled java code on our machine then jre is good enough for us we just install jre on our machine with jre we get jvm and jvm is the only thing needed to comp to run the byte code to run the compiled right. java code now can someone tell do, in our case since we are talking about doing the uh, development of our code since we have to write the code compile it and run it will jre suffice for our purpose will this be good enough for us yes sandeep yeah venkat it will be good enough yes sandeep it will be good enough if fair enough to execute from our local machine where we are preparing the code yeah so what does jre run it runs java uh, code or byte code it will uh, convert that uh, byte byte code and it will uh, run run into machine understood understandable language right perfect but when we write our automation code will we write it in byte code or will we write it in java will be write in java yeah so java to byte code conversion do we need or not yeah we need it we need it right so jre yes. just keep this thing in mind jre is responsible only for running the code it is not containing compilers make sense okay yeah no compilers are there in jre typically people created uh, these uh, java developers they created jre just because if a developer writes his code compiles and distributes the clients do not need people who are just running the software on their machine they do not need jdk they do not need compilers that's why they distribute as two separate packages so jre is mainly mainly to be installed on client machines but we are going to be developers because we are going to automate our test cases if you say yeah i have automated 20 test cases they have to be run in lab in your office there is a big lab of 50 machines where our all, all automation runs there we don't need compilers because we'll be compiling on our machine after the compile compilation is done we'll just give the code to a guy ops guy who can run it in lab so jd jre is clear to everyone that this is just the runtime environment now we talk about jdk now jdk is called java development kit now this is ultimate super set it contains jre plus compilers that means it gives us best of all the worlds that we get jre installed that means it has support for running the code but it has additional support if we are a developer if we write our code it will help us convert our code to byte code so if you have to draw the mapping between these jvm is the most inner piece which is responsible for running the code jre comes on top of it which contains jvm and some extra tools it is jvm plus some tools 
and JDK is the ultimate superset of this. So JDK contains JRE which eventually contains this and JDK extra thing that it contains is it contains compilers. So this distinction just keep in your mind. Once we have this picture very clear in our mind then we will know what we are going to install from this side. 